Hello everyone! In this video I'm going to show you how to create a puzzle for your students to use in Class N. To do that we first have to make the puzzle using PowerPoint and then we will move the puzzle pieces into Class N to create an EDB file. That way the student is able to drag, move the pieces to put the pieces together. So let's take a look at how we can make our puzzle. First, we need to make our puzzle pieces. To do that, I'm going to insert my shapes and I'm going to pick a square. When I make my pieces, I make them relatively small because whenever you copy and paste the image into the class in Blackboard, it always makes the pieces a lot bigger. That way, if I make it small to begin with, when I paste it into class in, I don't have to change the size of the pieces. But of course, if your pieces are a little too big on class in, you can always adjust the size of the pieces there. So when you look at the height and width, I want them to be the same to make a perfect square. So I usually do something around 1.4 by 1.4. And I am making a six piece puzzle. So of course, the smaller the puzzle, smaller number of puzzle pieces, the bigger the pieces are going to be. So if you're making a puzzle with more pieces, you're going to want your puzzle pieces to be a little bit smaller. So for my six piece puzzle, I'm going to do 1.4 by 1.4 to make it a perfect square. Then I'm going to duplicate my pieces to make them into six. I'm going to line them up and to the shortcut for duplicate if you don't know is control D and I have my six pieces. So there are two options for your puzzle pieces. You can just do squares and then the student can just move the squares around. If you want them to look more like real puzzle pieces, you can do that too. So I'm gonna show you on just one puzzle piece how to make them into regular pieces. I'm not gonna do them all because you will just repeat the steps for the rest of the pieces and I want to be able to show you how to make the puzzle with the squares as well, which is a lot easier if you don't wanna take the time to make your pieces. So to make them into interlocking pieces, I'm going to go back to my shapes and I'm going to make a circle, circle shape. This can be any size you want. These are just gonna be your pieces that interlock and I'm going to make them a perfect circle. So I'm going to do, let's do 0.5 by 0.5. Let's see how that looks, perfect. So I'm going to need two circles for each interlocking piece. So again, I'm not going to do all of them, but I just want to show you, of course, where my circles are going to go. I'm gonna need one for each section, each piece that connects. I need one here and then, and I'm doing my best to make sure they are centered. So now I have one for each, but I'm going to need actually two for each. So I'm just gonna keep them like this for now. And I'm going to make just this puzzle piece here and the interlocking piece with it. So I'm going to highlight by clicking on the piece, control, and then I'm going to click on the circle. So I have my puzzle piece and my circle highlighted. I'm going to go to my shape format if it's not already selected up here. And I'm going to click on merge shapes. So for this one, this is going to be my, we'll make it my Audi piece. So I'm going to choose union. It looks like it disappeared, but I will show you in a second where it went. So I'm going to click on union, union shapes. And if I move this out of the way, I'm going to see that the circle is now combined with that square. So I'm gonna move it back. And now I need to make the interlocking piece, the any piece 
right next to it. That's why I need two circles. I'm just going to duplicate this and I need to put my second circle. This is where it gets a little tricky making sure you line it up correctly. So I'm going to bring this piece to the front, bring to front so I can see where it's sticking out. And I'm going to bring this to the front and I'm going to try to line it up the best I can with the circle that was underneath it. This is why another reason I don't like doing these types of pieces as much is it's really difficult to make them perfect and I'm very picky. I like them to all match up perfectly. They might not all match up 100% perfectly if you do this method. So let me line it up and then I'm going to do the same thing but with my second piece. I'm going to highlight by clicking control, highlight the circle, Go to um, Shape Format still, Merge Shapes, but this time I don't want Union. This time I want Subtract. So I'm going to click on Subtract. And now let's see. Now I have the piece that interlocks and they connect perfectly together. So I have my puzzle piece here, my puzzle piece here, and they interlock. You would continue to do the same thing with all of your pieces whichever way you want them to connect to each other. So to recap there, when you merge the shapes, let me just click for the Audi piece, the piece that sticks out, you want union, union. For the any piece, the piece that goes in, I want to choose subtract. So you continue that with all of your puzzle pieces. Okay, now, I'm going to show you how to make the puzzle, whether you're using the pieces like this or if you're just using squares. So let me see if I can go back, back, back and delete all of my circles. Okay, so now I just have my squares. Okay, so now I'm going to create my puzzle. First, I'm going to choose a picture that I want to use for my puzzle. Since it is Christmas time, I decided to use a Christmas picture. So I found the picture that I want here. I'm going to right click. I'm going to copy the image. And then I'm going to paste the image here. Notice it is way too big. You're most likely going to have to resize any image that you choose. So I'm going to line it up to the corner, go to the opposite corner, and I'm going to drag until it lines up perfectly. You might have to adjust one direction versus the other to make sure it lines up. And you would do this again the same way if you did the interlocking pieces. So now I have my image. I am going to need six copies of this image. So I'm going to do that now so I don't forget to do it as I'm creating my puzzle. So I'm just going to do my duplicate, Control D, Control D, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So now I have all the pieces that I'm going to need. So I'm going to move this up here and I'm going to start with the top row. I like to put them in rows because it makes it easier to have everything lined up perfectly, especially if you're using those interlocking pieces. So I'm going to drag three pieces, make sure they are lined up perfectly. Okay. And then I'm going to line up my image with the pieces and then I'm going to send to back. So I just click right click, send to back because I want my pieces on top. Even though I have three pieces on my image, I'm only going to do one piece at a time. You have to do one piece at a time. I'm going to click my picture and then I'm going to, just like I did with the circles, I'm going to hit control and click on my first puzzle piece. That is grouping them together. They are both selected at the same time. I'm going to go back to my shape format, merge shapes, just like I did with the circles. And this time I'm going to choose intersect. You're going to notice when I choose intersect, it keeps the piece that I want with my image and everything else disappears. Now I have one piece done. 
Now I'm going to take my second image. That's why I needed more than one because it disappears. I'm going to line it up with my other two pieces. I'm going to send to back and I'm going to do the same thing with my second piece. Make sure I selected my image, control on my keyboard, click on the second puzzle piece, shape format, merge shapes, intersect. Second piece is done. Drag my third image, line it up, right click, send to back, select my image, control, click on my puzzle piece, shape format, merge shapes, intersect. Now my whole top row is done. I'm going to do the same exact thing with my bottom row. I'm going to move these pieces over, grab my image, I'm going to line up the bottom with my three puzzle pieces. Okay, same thing, I'm going to, this doesn't look lined up, okay. I'm going to send to back, select my image, control, click on the first piece, shape format, merge shapes, intersect. Again, line up my picture. Send to back, click, control, click on my next piece, shape format, merge shapes, intersect, next piece is done, and I'm on my last piece. So I just line it up, right click, send to back, click, control, click, and shape format, merge shapes, intersect, and my last piece is done. So I have all six of my pieces created. Now I need to put them into my class in classroom. So to do that, I'm just going to make this a little bit smaller, open my class in. I'm just going to go into the Blackboard. And this is the same way, here's my other example I was working on, the same way you would make an EDB file. So I'm just going to click on the mouse button in my PowerPoint. I'm gonna click on the piece, control copy to copy, control V to paste. And then I'm gonna do that with each of my pieces. Copy, paste. Notice how much bigger the pieces are in class N. That's why I made them small on my PowerPoint because if I made them this size on my PowerPoint, they are going to be huge in class N. Then you're going to have to resize every single one, which isn't difficult, but I prefer to just keep them the size that I want so that I know is going to work. So my third piece, control copy, control V, copy, paste, copy, paste, and last one, copy and paste. Here we go. So now my pieces are in here. So just like any EDB file, I can drag my pieces. Let's see if they fit together. And if they are not 100% perfect, that's okay. I'm a perfectionist, so I like mine to be perfect, but sometimes you make little errors. And there we go. My puzzle is put together. When I save this, I don't want it put together because I don't want my student to see it unless they're younger and you might want them to see what the picture looks like first and then mix them up. That's up to you how you want to save it. But usually I mix up my pieces do, 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 down here, up here, and then I'm ready to save my file. So when I use it in my classroom, my student is able to drag the pieces and put the puzzle pieces together. When they are perfect squares, it might be a little bit more difficult for a student than having the little notches like a puzzle piece. So if you prefer to use those puzzle pieces, that might make it easier for your student to put the pieces together, but it will be a little bit more difficult to line them up perfectly. So if you have not watched my EDB video, to save this, I'm just going to go to my toolbox, click on save slash share. If you want to save it to your computer, you can save to local or save it directly into your class in Drive. You would click on save to Drive, name it whatever you want to, Christmas puzzle, and then you can choose where you want to save the file in your Drive and confirm. And that is it. So the next time you want to use it in your classroom, 
You would just find it in your drive, open it in the classroom, and then your student can put the puzzle together. Remember, your student has to use the same tool, this little square with the dotted lines, in order to use the tools. If they're on their pen, they won't be able to move the puzzle pieces. So remind them how to change to the tool to drag and drop. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have fun making your own puzzles to use in your classroom. Bye everyone.